Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Uh, recently I was just messing about with my AC-13000, my Uber gunship, because uh, I'm going to be doing another video on that uh, before too long, <laughs> he says. Um, and I just wanted to test some stuff out, and I thought, there's a fair amount of storage in the back of this thing. I mean, I tried storing something in the back of this thing uh, during the building stream, and it didn't go well, but could I store, like, an attack aircraft, a fighter in there? And so I thought... Well, let's try and make this as easy as possible. Let's do an extendable arm and put a, a claw on the end of that and see if I can get it to grab my um, my airborne uh, carrier fighter. And no, I couldn't. I have since had some thoughts as to how I could tweak the fighter to make this easier, but that's besides the point. This whole thing got me thinking about my airborne aircraft carrier and how getting the craft to redock with it was a real pain in the ass and basically a total failure. And I want to go back and try that again, because I am now determined to get that working. So this was the original carrier, uh, using the Mark IV space plane part, and it was quite simple. You just uh, press zero to open the cargo bay, I think it was eight to extend the pistons, and then you can just fire these things off one at a time. Uh, that's, that's not what I meant, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, slight problem here. That was supposed to detach them from the... Uh, ah, come here, come here. Why are you not doing what you should be doing? Undock. Okay, there we go. Oh, for God's sake, what are you doing? Uh, just in a moment. Now, where were we? Now, if we press this... Okay, that's better. Okay, yes, fantastic. Okay. Well, that was a polar and a half. It turns out that for some reason the, um, the, uh, the action groups had sort of reassign themselves. I don't know when the hell that happened. Um, yes. So the whole idea was that when these fighters have finished doing what they're doing, they will come back and um, can redock using the little uh, docking adapters there. They'd fly up underneath and would then dock there. It turned out basically to be impossible. I'm not going to go through it again. You, want, you watch the last airborne aircraft carrier video if you want to watch me lose my mind trying to do this. But the... Um, the AC-13000 gave me an idea. I mean, it didn't work so much with the claw. It tended to almost slide off the side, but what if we use one of these docking adapters instead? A nice flat surface to run into, something hopefully with a bit of forgiveness if you don't get it exactly straight on, allowing you to adjust yourselves and dock like that. Um, <laughs> I'm not especially hopeful, but let's go and try it. So I've thrown together a quick prototype, sort of a, a test of concept, really just just ignore the half a fighter clipping below the um, below the cargo bay, and we are just going to take this off and see if it comes anywhere close to doing what we need to do. Hopefully, hopefully it will be a lot lot easier to um, <clears throat> a lot easier to dock back with this thing. Let's just oh ignore ignore that ignore that ignore that. Okay, that's really not getting any better. Let's just, uh, let's open the cargo bay. I've just got the one fighter in here, as I said, just a quick prototype. And what was it to... Yeah, God, what did I set this up as? I set this up as something different. There we go. Okay. And I'm just going to manually detach this. If this works, we can sort everything else out later. Let's detach that one. And let's see if we can redock with the aircraft carrier. I'm going to need to bleed off some speed first, and then and then do uh, do another approach at this. Okay, I had planned to do this differently, but no, I'm just going to do this the same as we did in the previous airborne carrier video, and just show you the sped up footage of my many, many disastrous attempts. The first one went quite well, actually, but just. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so close, but so far. Um, and in the end, I just get frustrated and blow the crap out of the carry, like I did in the previous video, <laughs> to be fair. But this isn't the solution I was looking for. I don't think this is going to work, so I, I am going to have to go back and try the solution that lots of people were telling me to try, and I was saying, no, 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 I can get this to work. I can get this to work somehow, and no, I can't. So um, on to plan B it is. Okay, so yes, it's happened. I've just strapped a giant kind of runway-esque sort of thing there to the top of this aircraft. This is still a problem, but um, as before, just, just a proof of concept. Um, so what we need to do, this is all manual as before. Let's um, undock you, switch to you, 
activate your engines. Uh, oh, no! Ah! No, we don't want to do that. I uh, need to beat up some speed. Oh my god! Okay, we lost it. We lost a missile. This is going well. <laughs> Fire missile, not at the aircraft carrier. Right. Let's get above. Okay. Looking good for the moment. Let's lead off a little bit of speed. We'll need our landing gear out. We need to lead off a bit more speed. Oh, 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 crap, oh, crap, oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, we down? Okay, we're down. Oh, we need, we need, we need more thrust. We need more thrust. We need less thrust. We need less thrust. Oh, God. Um, and then we need to work our way, oh, I kind of like the way it slides. That's quite convenient. Okay. Is that not going to happen? What's happening there? It's something stopping it from, is it, is it these things? These things stopping it from. Um, I don't know what the poor angle is. Do I need to get those out the way? What happens if I. No, that's the wrong way. Yes! Oh, thank God for that! Also, I just noticed I really should have extended that piston before I deployed the aircraft. There may have been. Um, may have been fewer issues there. Okay! Our proof of concept works well. Sort of works. Let's see what happens. Um, let's get the vessel switcher up. I have a feeling this will be handy when we try to undock. Hang on. What's happened to the aircraft? Care? Why did that? Why did that stop the engines from going? This is interesting. Oh god! This thing. Um, Okay. Not without its problems, but the general concept works. Also, yeah, when that sort of when um, I undock this thing, this thing just falling back and slamming into those, um, slamming into the tailplane, that was um, that was a definite worry. Let's see if we can do this again. Oh god, this is so much easier. I did think of a way you could possibly do this still with a cargo bay type affair. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> a break's enough to keep this thing on there. No, 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 no brakes are not enough on their own to keep this thing on there without it being docked. I think still deployed, so hopefully if we can wiggle this across. Okay, not pretty. Not pretty and the engines have gone again. But it kind of works. Which is more than could be said for my previous approaches. Let's just... Let's just see what we can use. I think this design needs to be refined, and then we need to see what we can uh, what we can use this for. Okay, so we have a concept that works. Um, I fleshed it out a bit. This is by no means the finished article, but we're doing a quick scenario. We are coming up on the uh, the KSC where two of my cyclones are protecting it, and we're going to see if yeah, see what happens. I think we should. Oh my God, they're taken off already. Okay, uh, was it undock and I. I think it was nine I press and uh, no you might want to pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up okay this is not going as well as I'd hoped um, we need the guard mode on this to be done because it's got uh, it does have countermeasures to defend itself oh god that's not going so well okay um, undock now that was the right one, and yes, nine. Okay, nearly there. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, 
if you could just... Oh my god, this is not... <laughs> to you. Do you have an autopilot? It doesn't have an autopilot, I don't think. Okay. Does it have countermeasures? It does have countermeasures. Um. <laughs> okay. Maybe try this one again with a different approach. Okay, so we're going to go for a different approach here. Let's just um, gather them up first. Then we need to go back to our carrier. Get these. Get them to follow us. Okay, we're getting closer. Why is this on? Why is that? Why is that linked? Oh, God knows. This whole thing's been buggy as hell. We will turn. Let's get these guys going. And I'm going to release my own craft. And I'm going to turn on guard mode because I need some kind of defense. Against the uh, against these aircraft, against the missiles that are coming in, and I do have the uh, airborne laser. Uh, airborne laser. Airborne laser. Um. Okay. All right. Maybe I should have just like pulled around hard so that. Oh god, we're missing a load of engines. Maybe yeah, I should have pulled around a bit harder so they. Oh my god, the carrier prototypes are going down pretty quickly. What are you doing? No weapons. What are you doing? You've been blown up. <laughs> they... You know what? I'm just going to set these on Engager. If you want a job done properly, do it yourself. Okay, this seems to be having a bit, of, bit more of an effect. Which is more that can be said for my carrier plane. Why are you... Are you just not using their countermeasures or something? Regardless, it's, it's kind of a victory. <laughs> Really should have just sent this thing into battle and to hell with the fighters. Um, yeah. Few bugs to work out. Things that worked in the previous approach that aren't working now. Things that didn't work last time that are working now. But a solid step forward, I think. Now, as for the um, as for my original aircraft carrier, the sodding bane of my life that I couldn't get to work properly and set me off down this path. I think, um, I think we need to give it a fitting send-off to express my gratitude. and heartfelt good riddance out of the way that's all we have time for today obviously there will be some more from the flying aircraft carrier because one I'm determined to get this version like properly working um, and also two I've had another idea and I think uh, God, well we'll see we'll see anyway yes uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, then uh, please do consider liking, subscribing, uh, commenting, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Um, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel, um, you too can get your own little Patreon curve like I've been using here today, as well as the name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord, access to anything I've uploaded to Patreon, uh, Patreon which as of the moment isn't a lot, <laughs> it would be fair to say. And all your kindly donated money does go towards helping me create more and better content for you guys. Um, 
I will be back with some more BD Armory soon. Until then, though, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.